So yesterday I went to Renton Rowing Center and I found these amazing kids and their amazing coach who are doing amazing things. And I also made a list of five ways you can make an impact this weekend, but I decided to feature this one opportunity um, specially for you. So I went there, I made a really cool video and I want to show you. This week I had the awesome opportunity to visit Renton Rowing Center where I met three kids and their coach Kate. Okay. So today we are at the Renton Rowing Center and I actually row here which is very fun. I'm on the middle school team so. Um, I'm, I'm a coxswain uh, and it's actually spelled very uh, weird. It's C-O-X-S-W-A-I-N so it's very weird spelling. It's coxswain and that is the person that steers the boat and leads the boat. Rowing is an expensive sport, so the Peterson kids are all on scholarship. Through the Pocock Foundation, which is our sister boathouse and the foundation we're under, they give scholarship, need-based scholarships to anyone who wants to row. Because we're all on scholarship, I feel like we set a different example for people like who are in other situations. They say like, oh, even though I don't have a lot of money because rowing is an expensive sport, they think like, I can do this too. Yeah, that mission statement of making rowing accessible, making the water access for everyone is huge down in Renton particularly. That we are a different boathouse, we're doing something new, we're changing rowing as a sport. Rowing will teach you, talk to any rowing, rower, they will talk non-stop about the lessons in life that you'll learn from rowing. It's taught me leadership in the way that you don't really have to be put in the leader position to be a leader. I think it's instilled a lot of commitment and a lot of drive and effort because it's a difficult sport and it takes a lot of time to be here and you just have to be 110% all the time. One why I feel so passionate about Renton is because I feel that it is a very unique spot and every person that walks in our boathouse knows it and they immediately feel that. After a chat in the boathouse, it was my turn to get on the water. In that core. The next position you're going to do is arms Before away. actually getting into a sculling boat, I learned how to bit. row on an there erg or a rowing machine. Contact. Oh! Got it? Okay. <laughs> For a woman, it probably between 140 and 150. Around, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm at there. 319. <laughs> now, walk it out of house means like walk it out of the house. Okay. A lot of fairies. Wow, yes. That's it. Square, feather, square, feather. Okay, you ready to take your first full strap, Lily? Yes, okay. I think. Rowing is an all-inclusive sport. You don't have to come from one particular background. You don't have to come from one particular place. Anyone can row, and there are ways for everyone to do it. So you can text the word ROW to 206-448-4545, and we will send you more information about the Renton Rowing Center. They have a, an event this weekend. Oh, cool. They have an auction to raise That's money fun. for new boats and new paddles that they got. Um, so yeah, support them. I had an amazing time. They have all kinds of classes for everyone of all ages. So we, awesome. we actually asked the question in the beginning of the show, like if you didn't, if money wasn't a problem, yeah. what mm -hmm. sport would you jump on with? Yeah. Why is rowing so expensive? The boats and the the oars are super expensive. They're mm. called oars, not paddles. Um, and <laughs> oh, excuse me. The, just the, just a pair of oars, like the yeah. ones that I used in that yeah. video. Those are sculling oars. They were six hundred dollars. Yeah, it's insane. So that's that's why it's been an elitist sport for a really long yeah. time, mm -hmm. and now people are trying to make it more uh, accessible. And uh, Kate, the coach in the video, she's she's amazing, and she went to Western and learned about rowing, and was like, I have to bring this to kids so that they know about this opportunity. That's you cool. You have love, wow. and something Lily. that you love, you want to share it. Yes. yes. Uh, people. Mm -hmm. And when I saw her and heard that interview, it just that's what came to my, my mind is that. She had love, something she loved that she right. wanted to share. Right, that's beautiful. Right, right. Yeah. Thanks. I could see when you when she came back from doing this story, her eyes. Oh. Yeah, her, her eyes were. He was lit up. It was like <laughs> I was really <laughs> excited. I was like running. So are you gonna do from, it? Are you gonna start rowing? Um, I don't know. I, I had so much fun, but I I live in the prairie during oh. most of the year. In the okay. so, in a little house. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's they about, have rowing teams. Yes, you know, at, at Kansas State, I guess they, they have rowing teams. So there you go. Yeah. 
<laughs> but when I come back, I want to give it another whirl. It okay. was very fun. Good job, Lily. Thank oh, you. First story job. ever. Yeah, good yeah. job. Good job. Good job.